Hey guys, Boots the Balloon here at FH Daily Chevrolet in San Leandro, California. Home of the smoothest rides and the head-scratchingly low prices. Today's episode of Flavor is powered by our friends at FH Daily. And folks, I got a trick for you. Have you ever heard of a self-parking balloon? Well, my buddy Boots the Balloon here is a master. Watch this. Bootsy, stay. The balloons ain't going down, but the prices are at FH Daily Chevrolet. Now let's get into this episode of Flavor right here from McGee's. Folks, welcome back to Flavor. Today we're in Alameda, California, right here at local gym, McGee's. I'm here, Mr. Tim Goodman. Tim, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. You were just telling me this is Freddie B's place to get his lucky Sunday morning started. That's correct. Every Sunday before a home game, Freddie B and his lovely wife Angela come on in, bring in half a dozen friends, uh, hopefully uh, bring them luck before the uh, Raider games. And folks, this is where we pick up the luck of the itis before we head to the black hole. Uh, big howdy due to the Bolitnikovs and all the girls at Tracy's Place of Hope. So how long have you been open here at McGee's? Well, Johnny Costello opened this place in 1977, named it McGee's after his mother, whose name was Margaret, but his father's nickname for her was McGee. Uh. So that's, he named it after his mom. Uh, I came to work for John in 1994 as his uh, manager, and on my 20 year anniversary, I bought it. Wow. So my wife Tracy and I uh, have owned it now for almost four years. Wow, congratulations. So yeah, it's been so, quite a ride. What was it like when you come in and you're taking over? Like, What are the jitters that go through that, taking over? Well, I'll tell you, this was the bar I couldn't wait to have my first drink in when I turned 21. Born and bred here in Alameda. So this was the place to go. So I came here on my 21st birthday, had my first legal drink. And in, in the Probably coming years, one, uh, <laughs> uh, there, there's been times where I told uh, Johnny, I said, one of these days, you know, before you sell this place, I'm gonna buy it. And years later, we made a deal that for me to come manage it. And, and then and the, the dream came true. So I feel very fortunate. And uh, I'm about to sip my first drink here. Beautiful Irish coffee. Do you have a drink of choice here? Uh, you know, I, I love the Irish coffees, but I, I, I'm a Coors Light man. And uh, I gotta gotta uh, gotta watch uh, what I what I drink when I'm working. Yeah, because the, these Irish coffees, folks, one or two of these, uh, the boss might say, "Stay home." That's day. right. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a wonderful beer selection. We have uh, 15 different beers on tap. Uh, anything from uh, light Coors Lights to Stella Artois to the little heavier IPAs and uh, and Ambers and something even a little Newcastle Brown Ale. Yeah, some beer selection here is incredible. The menu is incredible. What's your favorite meal on the menu? Uh, my favorite meal is the fish and chips. Mm. We make them uh, homemade fish and chips with a, a fresh homemade uh, beer batter. So uh, deep fried crispy and golden brown with a nice little shoestring fries. So uh, we'll, we'll have to taste that a little later. And Papa Boots, I know you're mad. I take my pops out. The only place he wants to go is an Irish place. All he wants to do is eat the fish and chips. But uh, he's over on the East Coast and we're here on the West Coast. He's <laughs> the best pub in the game. Uh, how would you summarize the city of Alameda? Well, Alameda's, you know, I, we call it the little diamond in the bay. We're our own little island. Uh, we're 20 minutes from San Francisco. We're 10 minutes from the Coliseum. Uh, we're very fortunate. Uh, it's been around, you know, it's, it's grown over the years. So it's not that tiny little town that we grew up to be, but it's still got that little town feeling. Yeah. You know, uh, we see people every day that I come in here that I went to kindergarten with. Mm. So, you know, a lot of people, hopefully, are, they're lucky enough never to have to leave. So it's a, it's, a, it's a good feeling. Well, folks, when you're ready to get your uh, your Sunday morning shamrock, good luck. You come here and kick it off with uh, an Irish coffee. Visit our friends at McGee's, and we're going to go try some of this food. Let's go eat. All right. We'll see you. So, folks, we're here at McGee's. I'm here with Chef Robbins. Chef, what are we trying here? Today we're trying our uh, McGee's cheesesteak. we got some nice uh, caramelized onions, uh, sauteed green bell peppers, red bell peppers, seasoned steak and some pepper jack cheese all in a french roll it's real uptight that thing was looking beautiful just now on the uh, on the it's grill good. man so how long you been here mcgee's been here about five five and a half years wow. what's your favorite item on the menu uh definitely any of our pastas with our fresh grilled salmon oh my goodness all right man let's get into this folks if the irish coffee didn't set you off this thing sure will yeah. cheers chef cheers Oh my God. 
Chef, the flavor just jumps right out on this mm -hmm. thing. Oh my God, those peppers. That is a beautiful, folks. Beautiful cheesesteak. Oh my God. What's your favorite part about this sandwich? It's gotta be the cheese and the onions. Oh my God, yeah, the caramel onion. Oh my God. Folks, a cheesesteak sandwich is a must over here at McGee's. Mm. With the owner Tim here at McGee's, Papa Booch is about to get very jealous. Man, I was honored to see the process of the fish and chips. Now we're about to try the fish and chips. Man, tell us a little about this dish here. Well, it's uh, fresh chicken, I mean fresh chicken. Fresh <laughs> Chicken in the sea. <laughs> Chicken in the sea. It, it's a uh, fresh fish that we get from uh, JP Seafood right down the street in Alameda. Uh, it's uh, rock cod, and we uh, make our own fresh uh, beer batter every day, and fry it in uh, the deep oil so it comes out nice and fluffy, and with some nice little uh, crispy uh, fritz, and we're good to go. A little tartar sauce, a little cocktail sauce. Nothing better than fish and chips. Got a little Irish coffee over here. Let's see what we got here, folks. Oh man, Chef, how many times a week eat? Oh my God. And it's chicken. Ah, see? <laughs> Isn't that nice and fresh and fluffy? Look at that. How many, how many times a week do you think you're knocking down a fish and chip, Chef? Oh, I try to eat these at least two or three times a week. Oh my. And folks, it's not all, you know, a lot of times with fish and chips, you get that, you get the frozen fish. You don't get that, that fresh, oh my God. Nothing frozen here. Mmm. Oh my God, you hear that? There's a chip. Oh man, that's money. Is that the most popular dish here? I'd say that's right on top. Yeah. Right on top too, along with the, the cheesesteak and the burgers. Oh my God. Folks, I am officially in love with this beautiful girl right here. Let me tell you what, when you come down to McGee's, you get the fish and chips, Maybe you start with that beef and barley soup and you wash it down with a nice Guinness and an Irish coffee, you'll be, uh, Irish eyes will be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Folks, that'll do it here for McGee's Pub. Tim, thank you so much for having us. Thank you, Charlie. It was a pleasure. And folks, when you want to get your little good luck rub, you come on in here, enjoy that fish and chips, a steak sandwich, and I highly recommend the Irish coffee. We'll see you next time here on Flavor. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel today so you don't miss a beat. See you later for McGee's. Go Raiders.